Yeah, I know it's been a while, but here is our review, guys, of the Acer Predator G1. So the G1 is a well-styled uh, gaming PC. You've got a USB port in front, USB Type-C, SD card reader, the slick design. It's got that really traditional Predator look altogether. Intimidating, slim, but also packed with a lot of power, which is one thing I like about what Ace has done with the Predator line altogether. You can customize this on, on various levels, but one thing you, you can get is a GTX 1080. Yes, a 1080 is packed into this very model, which means you're getting the best gaming performance possible. Four USB uh, 3.0 ports at the back, a couple audio ports. Those two Two singular ports there are for the power supply and we'll take a look at that in a second here but I do like the overall aesthetics with the black and red really sets out the tone for what Acer has to do with your general design now this is what your Predator looks like on the side profile that is your power brick there that basically houses your power supply of course that's external because this is a really really slim uh, gaming PC altogether now you've got um, ear wings which allow you to hang your headphones they're nice uh, it's great for or that gamer that you know goes to tournaments land parties and also if you just want to have your headphones close to you while gaming you can do that with the predator uh, g1 here uh, i have to say again design wise this thing is slick you know you've got custom lighting in front uh or the front top front panels and also just some really good performance altogether now before we do anything else we're going to jump into some gaming here and check out uh you know just performance with a couple of games the witcher 3 uh also the division and finally with doom so let's go ahead and take a look at some interesting gameplay to see how well it performs how well it handles uh the uh the you know just the general overall feel of how this uh machine handles all your high-end uh, pc gaming so starting off with the Witcher 3, you can see everything here is maxed out uh, in terms of specs. And what we're getting here was about 45 frames per second. Now, of course, the ticker's not on screen, but what you can see is how well the environments are actually produced here. Going through thick vegetation, you see the uh, uh, the lighting effects, the, the the green foliage, how well it moves. There's no slowdowns. Uh, we, we're getting constant about 43 to 45 frames per second. Even jump into a little action here. Uh, this game handled very very well, so I was quite impressed with that. Now uh, moving over to the division, which of course is another open world game. We max everything out in the game. Uh, here we're getting a lock at a roughly around 49 to 50 frames per second. We actually didn't move that much, which is great. Now, Division, of course, has a lot of open environments. You change from location to location, uh, trying to give you no load times altogether. And I have to say that I was quite impressed with the way uh, the Acer G1 handled uh, gameplay with Division. It was smooth, it was fast, um, had no slowdowns, and it, you know, just reproduced the environments to a lot of great detail. So, um, as a fan of the Division, in playing a game like this, it works out very, very well. Moving over to Doom, you can see everything's maxed out Vulcan API I'm running of course my monitor is 3440 by 1440 and we're doing max about 90 frames per second, which is actually pretty good. I mean, compared to what we did with Board Prime, our PC, where we have, of course, a, a X99 chipset, this is doing roughly between 70 to 90 frames per second. Uh, and again, a game, a game like Doom, you want uh, just a high frame rate because you're moving really fast. You don't want any slowdowns whatsoever because it can get really crazy with gameplay. So uh, again, impressed with the Acer Predator uh, G1. Now, of course, you can also play VR games on your Predator G1. We have Edge of Nowhere here on our Oculus Rift. And yeah, um, it handles it very well. We're doing about 90 frames per second uh, on this game. I have to tell you, this is a really interesting game to play. Just a side note, though. Uh, it's really interesting because this is a third-person action adventure game. 
and you being the camera behind really puts a whole different perspective to it. But uh, going back to the performance of the G1, it was fine, fantastic. It handled gameplay well. Um, again, no slowdowns, really enjoyed playing the game. I actually played this for almost uh, an hour and a half. While I was trying to just record this video. I recorded an hour and a half video. Uh, thank God it's not on here. But you get the idea of what uh, the Acer Predator G1 can do in terms of performance. Now, in terms of software, gladly, you don't have a lot of bloatware on this thing. You have an Acer's Predator software, which allows you to go in and do some customizations to your build. So you've got lighting effects in the front, as you can see. Uh, you can go ahead and change those lighting effects there. Uh, you can customize the colors. You can customize the pulse rates, the, the, you know, whether it breeds pulses. Uh, whatever form of faction you customize the speed um, and you've got three lighting zones you've got the grill you've got the logo and you've got that front lighting header uh, that you can make changes to it so uh, those are some nice things on there uh, not much in terms of um, doing more uh, the few options you can go through within those lighting effects besides just the colors and also the uh, the pulse rates there you can move the speed as well as also the rate itself so that gives you some uh, uh, variation to what your outward logo of your rig is, especially if you're taking it to a LAN party or um, you know you're at a, a you know gaming convention or something like that. Uh, you can actually make it look you know really cool. That's the whole idea uh, for the Predator Sense software. So it gives you more there. Now you can also change your fan speed. Now you can increase the fan speed. What that does is actually it sounds really, really, really loud. That's also how your system will sound when you're gaming at you know a high frame rate. So that's one of the things that I dislike about this because it's got a fan in there. Uh, it just goes really, really loud. Now you also have the killer software, which is the killer um, uh, internet app software. It basically checks out your internet speeds and things like that so that you can give you the best online gaming performance uh, with your Acer Predator G1. Now overall, I have to say, I really, really uh, like the performance of the G1. Um, this Really nothing to complain about other than say the fan it can be loud at times but that's to be expected uh, for what you're paying for this is a lovely lovely gaming rig if you don't want to build yours definitely pick it up I will recommend it all the way through I've enjoyed it comes with a few accessories here um, if you don't have a gaming keyboard or mouse you can also pick up the optional traveling case which does a good job in helping you pack up your uh, G1 and take them with you on the go so if you're going away on a long trip for say you know a week or two you can pack up your g1 with you or if it's something where you're going to a game convention or a land party you can take it safely without actually getting damaged you can pick this up uh, from aces uh, website directly um, or um, you, you can also use some of the other links out there on the web overall i have to say the acer predator g1 is a definite buy this is one solid gaming rig especially if you're maxing it out with the gtx 1080 uh, in terms of pricing i think the pricing is is uh, reasonable uh, for what you're picking up here and i think this is just a solid another solid outing from acer i think they've done a good job with the predator series and i want to see them improve i want to see them move to maybe liquid cooling in the future um uh, just because having a fan there and the kind of noise you're getting can be distracting um, if you don't have say you know noise isolating headphones while you're gaming so if you guys have any questions or any comments about the acer predator g1 uh let us know if you're looking to pick it up use our uh link down below from one of our affiliates there so you can purchase yours and support our channel if you're also looking to check out that wallpaper yes i know some people are probably asking about that we have it on our pinterest anime page so use the link down below to definitely check it out download follow us on pinterest all that fun stuff so this is thunder e saying thank you subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment